So I'm here at the Contemporary Resort today as Disney has just held their D23 Destination D event this weekend and we have a ton of Disney Parks news to get into. So let's dive into all of that up next. Hi there Waltoneers, I'm Jack and this is DS1 Newscast and before we get started be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below, hit that notification bell if you're already subscribed and with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Starting with what will be the biggest new attraction opening at Walt Disney World next year and that is the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind Roller Coaster at Epcot, which we have now learnt will be officially opening in summer of 2022. And this will not only be Disney's first ever storytelling roller coaster that will use an omni coaster ride system to carefully control the rotation of the vehicles to ensure that you are fully immersed within the story elements of the attraction, but it will also feature Disney's first ever reverse launch for a roller coaster as well. And considering that this is going to be one of the longest fully enclosed indoor roller coasters anywhere in the world, with an estimated track length of just short of a mile, that combined with pauses and variable speeds for show scenes will also give this attraction a substantial ride time for a roller coaster, which the same can't be said for Tron as that ride time is just over a minute. But then again, Tron aims to offer higher speeds, whereas Cosmic Rewind is going to be focusing more on the story. And we also receive these brand new pieces of concept art that show us the Xandar Gallery, which is something that I first outlined in my video on this attraction back in January of 2020. And this will be the themed queue environment that offers us terror as we're called within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, an up-close look at the people, culture and history of Xandar, along with a demonstration of their advanced technology. And this Xandar gallery will accompany the Galaxarium experience, which is a planetarium-like exhibit that showcases the wonders of the cosmos and how the Universal Teleportation Network works. And as part of this, Glenn Close will be reprising her role from the movie as Nova Prime for one of the pre-shows as well. And then the fact that the poster features an adult Groot and not the baby Groot or teenage Groot that we've seen in the movies recently leads me to think that the previous pre-show concept art that showed what seemed to be a Rocket and Groot animatronic may still have made the cut, but we'll have to wait till next year to see if that's true. But then the other reason why the summer 2022 opening for Cosmic Rewind is important is because it almost certainly puts it on track to open ahead of the Tron Light Cycle run roller coaster at the Magic Kingdom, as despite Tron receiving a quick mention in this aerial image of the construction, nothing more was said about its opening. So combining that with the comment that was made back in October that Cosmic Rewind was the next attraction to open, I think that this offers further confirmation that Tron will now be opening later in 2022, which is obvious to anybody who's been on the monorail recently and seen the exterior construction progress made on that pavilion that will be known as the Wonders of Xandar Pavilion. But that's not all in terms of Epcot news, as we received this video of an Imagineer sculpting the maquette for the brand new Walt Disney statue that will be installed in a location called Dreamers Point that will be within World Celebration. And speaking of World Celebration, we learnt that the new restaurant that is replacing the previous electric umbrella will be called Connections Cafe Eatery, which on a side note, I think the naming convention of both Creation Shop and Connections Cafe are very generic and uninspired, and I would have much preferred a punnier name like Ep Shop or Communa Store, and for the restaurant something like Star Grazing, which would pay tribute to the previous Star Gate restaurant, and also be about looking up to the stars and dreaming, which would have worked thematically with Dreamer's Point. But then again, that's not the name. So let's just move on and accept it. Then next up, sticking with Walt Disney World, it was finally announced that early in 2022, the Festival of Fantasy Parade will be returning to the Magic Kingdom, Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair will return to the castle stage, and there'll also be a brand new cavalcade this winter called Disney Adventure Friends that will feature characters from Zootopia, Moana, The Incredibles, The Jungle Book, Coco, and many more. And then over at Disney's Hollywood Studios, there's been a very extensive refurbishment taking place on the Fantasmic stage and theatre. And now, at long last, Disney has confirmed that Fantasmic will return next year 
with all new technical upgrades and brand new sequences, featuring Aladdin, Moana, and Frozen. And over at Disney's Animal Kingdom, we'll see Finding Nemo the musical return to the theatre, but this time with Finding Nemo the Big Blue and Beyond, and this will incorporate elements of both Finding Nemo the movie and Finding Dory. And then to wrap up the Walt Disney World news, we also got an extended glimpse inside the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser that will begin its Out of This World voyages on March 1st, 2022. And here we can see the chairman of Disney Parks Experience and Products, Josh Damaro, testing out the lightsaber dojo, where both adults and children alike will get the chance to block laser bolts using a lightsaber and a training remote. And I'm willing to give this the benefit of a doubt, as this experience probably looks way better in person, as the camera is probably struggling to capture what the laser bolts truly look like. And then we also got another look at the bridge where guests will take control of the operations of the ship as we're embroiled in a heated battle between the Resistance and the First Order surrounding this luxury star cruiser. But along with that, we also got a live-action demonstration on stage of a brand new extendable and retractable special effects lightsaber that looks absolutely incredible and will be part of the Galactic Star Cruiser experience. And now moving on from Walt Disney World, one of the most interesting parts of the entire presentation, in my opinion, was the research project that's nicknamed as Project Exo. But the reason why is because we have only previously seen a short glimpse of this released on Disney's social media accounts, as oftentimes Disney research projects don't ever see the light of day and remain purely experimental. But for Project EXO to be featured in such a prominent way on the live stream must mean that Disney has confidence in bringing larger than life characters to the parks like never before, using exoskeleton puppeteering techniques, as through the combination of 3D printing muscle with lattices to reduce the weight, and then the exoskeleton redistributing that weight to the ground, we're going to be able to see larger characters in the parks, which would make possible true to scale characters such as the Hulk, the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, or maybe even Thanos from Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. And in terms of other parks around the world, it was announced that the location of the AMC building within downtown Disney at Disneyland would begin a transformation in January 2022 into a new event space. Magic Band Plus will also be coming to the Disneyland Resort in 2022, and there will be a redesign of the Toontown Backdrop Hills that will be more in the art style of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And in terms of entertainment, Fantasmic, World of Colour and the Main Street Electrical Parade will return to Disneyland Resort next year. And then over in Disneyland Paris, we receive this first look at the decorations for the 30th anniversary celebrations that begin in March of 2022, and it was announced that the Avengers Campus will be officially opening at Walt Disney Studios Park in summer of next year. And on top of all of that, Disney also gave us this image of a construction progress of the frozen themed land, Arendelle World of Frozen, that is set to open in Hong Kong Disneyland in 2022, and also we got this clip of the Yaks animatronic that will be featured within the first ever Zootopia attraction at Shanghai Disneyland. Now despite there being a lot of news to go through in this video, if I'm being honest, I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't get any updates regarding projects such as the paused Spaceship Earth revamp or the revised plans for the World Celebration Festival area. Although I wasn't expecting any sort of major new ride or land announcements, as those will be saved for D23 Expo that's taking place in September of 2022. But speaking of which, in 2023, the Walt Disney Company will be celebrating a monumental milestone that few companies achieve, and that is its 100th anniversary. As of course we all know that Walt and Roy founded the company on October 16th, 1923. And so now we have our first look at the logo for this worldwide celebration that will be officially titled as 100 Years of Wonder. However, as has been previously mentioned, D23 Expo next year will focus on rolling out the extensive worldwide plans to celebrate 100 years of the Walt Disney Company in a big way, along with the announcement of new rides and lands coming to the parks in the coming years. But stay tuned here to DSMY Newscast as on this channel I'm going to be discussing all of the latest rumours of what we can expect before things are officially announced next year 
at D23 Expo. But now, it's over to you, Walton, as I would like to know what are your thoughts and opinions about Destination D's announcements, what is your most favourite piece of news out of everything that's been revealed today, and also, if you could use Project XO to bring any character to life within the parks, then what would it be and why? And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere in today's video, along with your suggestion or your comment, so therefore that way you'll have a chance to win one of these official DSMI newscast pins. And congratulations to this Waltonair here for winning this suggestion from a previous video, where we were talking all about Toontown over at Disneyland. And so that's it for today, so be sure to go and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell if you're already subscribed and would like to receive notifications, and if you've enjoyed today's roundup of all of the news out of Destination D, then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.